Education is one of the most important things you can invest your time into, as it provides foundation for a more successful life in the future. Public education can be seen as one of the greatest gifts that our nation offers to its citizens, but that gift is not often equal for everyone. We find that many of our schools, particularly those within large school districts like Los Angeles, continue to be segregated and continue to fail the students they serve. Dropout rates among the African American and Latino students in urban school districts indicate that these schools are in peril. College access programs like the Neighborhood Academic Initiative Program aim to offer urban students opportunities comparable to those afforded to their privileged counterparts. The lack of structures within urban communities that promote the success of their students supervenes on the fact that little support structures for students are actually in place, including around USC. Or, as unfortunate as it sounds, it may be that as a society, we refuse to acknowledge that urban students are just as valuable as privileged students, and that with access to the right components, they too can succeed. Our team plans to analyze the observational behavior skills that the NAI program uses to mold the students that follow through with the program into the best candidates to attend USC. We chose this program because the techniques used on the students are the same as ones used in businesses to mold the most efficient and well-functioning organization. We will explore the factors within college access that support urban students in their education from the perspective of the participants themselves. This report focused on NAI high school seniors who have been participants in college access programs since middle school because our team really wants to focus on the program's ability to have their students make the transition to becoming a USC treasure. The USC Neighborhood Academic Initiative Program is the university's premier outreach program to the neighborhood. It's a college access and success program for uh, students in the neighborhood grades 6 through 12. The students are on campus on Saturdays for six years. Not many students will give up six years worth of Saturdays to study. And they study uh, their math and English five hours per Saturday for four years from ninth grade through 12th grade. It's an amazing thing for any university, particularly a private university, to say to its neighborhood, we want your children to be ready for college. My favorite part is interacting with the students, to have the students here on this campus, wide-eyed, um, looking at their futures, and we're part of that. On the last parent meeting day, I have each of the parents stand up singly and I read off um, all of the colleges that their child has been accepted to. And it's a, it's a, it's very emotional for all of us. Okay, so now I will cover the main aspects within the NAI program that help with the management of their students. Since NAI is looking to help students with their admission into USC, only the most resilient students are accepted into the program. Within this program, students agree to a very rigorous workload that includes many AP courses, weekday morning classes at USC, Saturday Academy, and after-school tutoring. Aside from this, NAI students agree to a strict seven-year plan to help their chances of getting into USC. This seven-year plan includes all the necessary courses for admission into USC, as well as workshops to help improve their SAT scores and personal statements. Additionally, NAI acknowledges the value in parent involvement, so they require parents to attend a bi-weekly family development program, which helps to create a hands-on, all-encompassing approach to reinforce their students' goals, even in the household. NAI also incentivizes students' performance through the potential financial aid packages. Uh, assuming that students are accepted into USC, NAI provides students with financial aid goals as well to help them perform better. And last but not least, NAI provides support to their students throughout their college education at USC. Uh, this support comes in the form of academic advising before scheduling their classes for the next semester. So they're able to help their students maintain their progress even after they leave their program. So by using all of these methods, NAI has been able to achieve an 83% enrollment at four-year universities after graduation and a 42% enrollment at USC specifically. Now I'm going to talk about how NAI program provide the students with proper motivation to help them um, to stay on track on their educational journey. So we've seen that the NAI program have sent 83% of the students into four-year university, while 42% of them get into USC. How does NAI program achieve such success, or 
how it helps the students stay on track in their educational journey. We find there are three components that contribute to this effect. The first one is that the NAI program set a very clear standard for the students to follow from an early age. Um, although it is very important for the students to have soft, soft skills, the, one of the, our participating NAI teachers says that what ultimately sets apart NAI students with other applicants are their GPA and SAT score. So the NAI program provides the students a clear standard to follow along their educational, uh, along their education to keep on track. Uh, the second component is NAI's program and its network. It promised the students and their parents to form a network and even go beyond the college life. So this enabled the NAI program to advance. Um, and the third component is that the program offered the family uh, activities such as counseling and parent classes. This enable the students to fortify their family structure and help the family to better understand how the students' education experience is and how, help them to get involved in such experience to help the students keep on track. Now, the unfortunate reality is that many high school students aren't adequately prepared by their high school's default curriculums for higher education typically universities, and the NEI comes in and it adds their, adds their values to their programs, which include academic resources as well as non-academic resources. Academic resources such as extra classroom instruction, SAT prep, tutoring, and college information, non-academic offerings such as career guidance, motivation seminars, and cultural awareness. The NAI truly excels in the department of non-academic skills, and this is essential when it comes to preparing students for their future. And in order to do this efficiently, the correct mediums of communication must be used when giving updated information and instruction to every level of management in order, in order to efficiently adhere to the students' needs when it comes to higher education. Lastly, the to become strong candidates for USC admissions, students must be active listeners because if students aren't listening, they aren't learning. And active listening is expected from all students. Other than that, NAI takes it on to themselves to provide the rest for the student and provide an attitude that is adequate to the student's learning process. Uh, I'm going to be discussing motivation in the NAI program. Uh, I will cover what motivates the students, motivational incentives or punishments that the NAI program might use, and how effective the organization's impact is on the students. Um, to start, meeting USC's new uh, student evaluation standards can be difficult, and especially for students in the NAI program who have limited access to resources that are a normalcy for uh, most others. Um, with such an advanced workload, NAI students expressed moderate stress levels with maintaining their grades and uh, many of the other requirements and duties that they, uh, that they have. Uh, going through school is tough, however, going through the NAI's program requirements on top of school is a very impressive feat. As you can imagine, motivating students who are going through this difficult program could be challenging sometimes. Uh, most students are intrinsically motivated uh, by trying to further their intellectual development for various reasons but they sometimes need incentives uh, or punishments to push them through the stressful times uh, to encourage them. Uh, administration members view students through the theory why perspective, and this means that students don't need to be micromanaged to do well because they have a lot of intrinsic motivating factors that push them. And uh, so NAI, they uh, created a family-like community that fosters open and honesty at this environment at NAI and it makes it easier for students to communicate with their superiors where they need help and uh, and the teachers or administration administrators can help them because they know specifically how. Uh, NAI knows how to maximize their students motivation because they realize that their motivation comes from themselves. By not overstepping and controlling their students, NAI has been able to maintain um, effectively motivated students which is supported by NAI's acceptance rates into USC and uh, other universities. 
the NAI program is doing great to help the students to go to a better college, to help them to have a better life outcome. Um, but it seems like, but it seems that recently NAI is experiencing some difficulties during the um, COVID nineteen pandemic. Uh, of course, they are doing well to 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 do everything to help the students to overcome the pandemic. And uh, compared with USC, NAI is offering lots of life, essen life essentials to these students and families. For example, they are offering lots of grocery supplies, cleaning supplies, and uh, food. Uh, however, at the same time, USC didn't offer lots of life essentials because USC is a large institute. It is kind of hard for USC to reach all the students. And besides, USC is using Zoom tour to all of the students and the lectures, professors. However, um, NAI didn't provide this kind of online teaching tool to these teachers. As a result, uh, the teachers uh, had to uh, figure out their own way to teach the NAI students in a remote basis. So they had experienced a lot of um, technical issues when they want to teach students in a remote basis. In conclusion, our team developed a strong understanding as to why the Neighborhood Academic Initiative Program has been so successful at admitting underprivileged urban students into college. They worked hard to develop the students' communication skills and embed the correct goals and values in order for them to succeed in their educational futures. Not all students are resilient enough to meet all of the NAI contract requirements, but just exposure to the program allows a student, whether they get accepted into the University of Southern California or not, to receive extra support in the classroom and outside of the classroom to help them succeed in their own following. And if that is a different path or a different university, NAI does not hesitate to still help their students. The program takes pride in how successful it is because their methods of molding quality students through rigorous courses and extracurricular activities teaches students how to get how to set and execute educational goals. In the long run, NAI students are more likely to not only get accepted to USC, but are also highly probable, but it is also highly probable that they will have no issues with their undergraduate degree because the program never stops helping any of its students. Their family motto and communication with their students about their needs inside and outside the classroom sets them apart from, more, from their more privileged counterparts. In an organization, managers want to have their employees work fast and efficiently, and that's exactly what the Neighborhood Academic Initiative is doing with their students. Helping seemingly incapable students prove that with the right resources and attention, they can be given the skills to thrive at a university like USC.